talk about Coltrane. Okay. And for tonight, I was thinking more like the worst guitar ever. Well, you got, made. Well, you're getting into Coltrane's, mate. I come from friggin' Newcastle. The worst guitar Careful, ever made. Careful, not from Coltrane's. <laughs> the Stratocaster, the worst guitar ever made. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, you're as dumb as a box of hammers sometimes. Oh, these guys. Where the god. How can you put a sweeping statement? Ridiculous statement. What is that sound of a dead horse being flogged? Ridiculous statement. And yet, I can't play one. Yeah, well, serve you right. What What is it that you like about playing this? Can't play a lot of things. Oh! I like strategy because, so. well, it's just so versatile. Well, you can play. You say that like it's a rock. Good thing. You can play country. You know, you can play, you can play jazz with a strat, you can play not blues you know, with a strat, you know. like I've been told. <laughs> you can play blues with a strat, you know, and all, you give them to different people, they sound different, you know. Yeah, I agree, kind of agree yeah. with that. The, the big problem for me is that when I play rhythm, mm -hmm. which is like that, you know, yeah, yeah, as yeah. you know, I hit the volume knob, um, so... If I play anything that resembles this, did strategy, this room become? I have to <laughs> drums. I have to take the volume knob off completely yeah. and move it that way, so I can. Strum. That must cost thousands to do that, Bob. That must cost thousands of dollars to do that. But you don't do that. You leave the volume knob where it is, and yet you can play rhythm. Yes, I play rhythm. You're a genius. How do you know? No, no, no. It's just, just. Do you do the little? Finger thing around. Yeah, no, I just sort of tend to avoid it. I can't yeah. avoid it. As Jimmy Hendrix rhythm. did. Jimmy wasn't big on playing with him the way Pete Townsend oh, right. sort of does, but really. So. Oh, no, he wasn't. But Richie Black, no, Richie Black would have oh, that, that, That's a dreadful example. He hated playing with He avoided playing with him. As far as I can tell, Richie Blackmore was just hanging with the band until the solo came, which was the very important thing. Oh, this, well, there is that very important part in Smoke on the Air. You mean the keyboard part? No, no, Richie played that as well. After the keyboard. Yeah, he still no, played. Or did he play before it? No, he played before the keyboard. He also played rhythm in Highway Star. He plays the toughest he, he B flat did, chord did, in did rock. Not. Oh, come on. Highway Star is just... There's no rhythm in that. But there's a really <laughs> tough B flat. Zang, zang. Oh, I used to run out and see But we do love there. Richie. We love Richie. We do love Richie. He plays Australia. Have Australia. you ever tried to do the Richie Blackmore um, upwards uh, directional picking? Upstroke directional picking? It's really hard. I had no. to work months on it to get it, to get it vaguely down. No. It's very hard. No. So he did play a straight. But, you know, he did play a straight. But we all know that Richie is a little odd. Yeah, yeah. Richie. So... But, on the other but what hand, is it that you don't like about strats? How can you not they're like very strats? uncomfortable for me. Everything from the way the body sits because the horn is there, and, wow. and so the, the guitar sort of sits somewhere not like an SG. See, I find that with SG, to me, SG is the most uncomfortable guitar. You've got to catch a bus to F. You've got to catch a bus to F. You know, everything's like there. Oh, it's lovely. Where's my guitar? It's in the next room. Oh, that's right. I'll play an SG. It's over there somewhere. It's lovely. And yet I'm smaller than you and I can handle it. What does that say? They are so comfortable, they just sit right there. Where strats do this weird thing where something happens with the body and I don't know, and the rhythm knob thing, whammy stuff, it just doesn't work for me. I enjoy listening to them mm. in the hands of some players. Richie especially. Yeah. Jeff, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, strats are not strats. There's some fenders I, I don't like at all. Yeah, I can't stand. I don't know why people play jag, jags, jaguars. I don't know why people play um, mustangs. I, I don't get them at all. No, no. Well, at least we can agree on this. Jaguars are evil. Kitties. Yeah, they're just done. say no good can no, come of a jaguar. No good can come of this. Mustangs. I do like Alan Lancaster's Mustang bass sound. Mm. That's pretty good, but That's everybody good. else should just stop. Don't play a Mustang no, or yeah. a Jag. But don't do what Kurt Cobain did. Another another of the greatest guitar pros that ever walked. Yeah. He um, melded the two together, and they have a Kurt Cobain model, and they call it the Jazz Stang. 
They don't. That's a lie. Yeah, no, that the Fender brought out. No, I remember I was teaching at a shop and myself and one of the other guitar teachers, we saw this thing coming, the Kurt Cobain jazz thing. And the first thing the other guitar teacher said to me, Phil Morris, his name was, he said, that's the Kurt Cobain model guitar. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another five minutes of your life. You won't get back with Di Pritchard and our favourite Martian, Bob Spencer. Thank you and good night.